Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films, and I'm your host, Coach Evans. Now, today's topic of conversation is John Harbaugh's analytic decisions on fourth down. Um, he made a bunch of fourth down calls over the past couple of years. Some we agreed with, some we didn't agree with. And um, really, I just took the time to break down the, the calls from last year and, and check out you know the numbers and a few of the plays um, for what we did on fourth down. Run the intro. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel. Again, it's host Coach Evans here, and we're talking about John Harbaugh's fourth down decisions from 2021. Um, over the past two years, there have been some questionable calls, some calls that we got, some that we didn't, and really just going to take the time out to break down the calls from the last season and I'll go forth from there. Uh, but before we get to all that, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit the like button. If you really like what you uh, see today and in past videos, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so you can be notified once they drop. Um, but without any further ado, let's dive right into it. All right, let's talk about a few numbers, folks. Before we, let's talk a few numbers first before we dive into the film. Um, we had a total from 2021 of 21 fourth down situations. Uh, 10 of those were passes. 11 of them were runs. We uh, actually got 12 of them and didn't get nine. So we were 57% on fourth down. Um, Lamar had four of those failed attempts. Uh, Huntley had three. And Ingram had one also. And, you know, you're probably wondering why did Ingram have a fourth down attempt? Well, you'll see in the film why Ingram got a chance to run a fourth down play. All right, let's dive into it now. So we're not going to do all 21 plays. I got, I think, six plays, and we're going we're gonna to do those six and kind of talk about them a little bit. And the um, the Shades will make a return. I just I don't want the, the ones that are that reflective, and you can kind of see the screens in front of me instead of you know focusing on what's going on you're probably looking at my glasses trying to see what's going on but they will make a return and you know i got a lot of positive feedback on it, even though it was a necessity at the time um but let's get right into it this is against the bills or this is playoff game it's fourth and eight it's fourth and eight and you know obviously we needed it at this point because look it's uh fourth quarter so we're trying to fourth quarter 642 left down 14 points. And I honestly think if we hit this, we get a chance to get back in this game. I honestly do. So this was a no-brainer. This was this call is not questionable. This is a no-brainer. Let's watch it. Got three-man route. Huntley just missed him. This Huntley. This is not Lamar. This Huntley. Huntley just missed him. But let's see what, what went on. All right. Early in the game, we had been running – this route. We've been running this route. And at this point in the game, you know, six something left, you know you want to conserve time. So you're going to run your, your out routes to try to, you know, get out of bounds and stop the clock. Well, what Hollywood did was came out, bam, bam, right there, then shot right up the, shot right up the scene. Uh, I think this is their good corner. I can't remember his name. He he tried, you know, tried to play the out and got too wide, and Hollywood just ran up the, ran up the field on him. Bam. That's the little out fake he gave him. He's going to dive hard on that. And Hollywood can go right past him. Boy, if we hit this, that's six. All day. That's six all day. Because look, the safety going on the little cross route. Going on, going with the cross route. I think that's by Sneed. Yeah, the, safe, the safety going with Sneed. All that. If we hit that. It's a big moment for Hunter. He had good protection, too. Had yeah, good protection. That was a no-brainer. Let's go on to play two. Play two. This is it's 35-34 Browns. It's two minutes left. Fourth quarter. I think everybody knows what this play is. Lamar had just came back from whatever was going on with Lamar. And we can say this is a questionable call, too, because it's on the 44. It's on the 44. So you add 10 to that, that's 54. 
You add seven to it, that's 61. Can Tucker hit a 61 yarder? Yeah. Is it more than likely he'd miss it? Possibly. So, you know, this is one of those questionable calls. Is Tucker can hit 61 because if if we give them the ball back, it's now it's under two minutes. We only have two timeouts. So if we don't say we stop them on the first play, and they run, that play takes 10 seconds. So we're down to probably 150. Um, call timeout. Or play the next play, 10 seconds, 140. Call timeout. Now we out. They run the third down play and we stop them. It's probably a minute now. And then they run that third, they run that play, and by the time they punt, it's 20 seconds. So you have to factor all that in too when you're making these fourth down calls too. So I think this was the right call. And if you look at the play, even if Lamar doesn't throw this touchdown, I think he has the space to run for the first down. And I'll pause it when I'm to that point where I want to show you that. Just right here. The first down marker is right there. He has JK in front of him. And he can, you know, he can play off of these two that's trying to get to him. Because that's what got that's what got Hollywood open. Lamar rolling out. These two guys came off of Hollywood and wanted to get to the quarterback. Well, one didn't. One did, one didn't. That's a linebacker. Trying to get to the running back. And he's trying to hold. Yeah, he could have. He could have got that first down. If he doesn't throw, he still runs. And shoot. He might score like that too. I didn't pay attention to that. Because JK blocks this dude up. Lamar gets out here. Shoot. He might score on this. I ain't realize that. Because this dude is chasing Hollywood. I mean, he might can fold back afterwards. But shoot. I didn't even realize that. He might can score up the sideline. Because ain't no the only person got a chance to catch him is this dude. Nobody else on this field can catch Lamar. Maybe. Maybe this guy. Maybe. But again, executed fourth down. Big play for us. Big play in the season. And we love it. We all knew what it was, so I ain't really have to kind of go into great detail what Hollywood did on that. So let's go look at this situation. It's third. No, it's not third. It's fourth and two. Ball in the 37 versus the Cowboys with a minute left in the first quarter. We're on our, we're on the yeah, hour 37. So going in to score. And it's fourth and two. Easily within Tuck's range. Um, let me see. 37 plus 10, 47, plus 7, 54. That's easy. That's within his range. Could have made that. All right. But chose to go for it. Let's see what happened. Put a guy in motion. That's Boykin. Counter bash. To the crib. Counter bash to the crib. This became like one of the most deadliest plays we had as far as the QB run. And what's going to happen is bash me back away. So that means the running back is going away from the call. If this end crashes, Lamar gives it to the, to the running back and he got blockers on the edge. If the end goes up the field to try to take away this outside zone, Lamar shuffles. And then hits it behind those uh, pullers. You get a down block there, down block there, down block there, wrapping kick. No, I'm sorry, not wrapping kick, a kick. Then you're wrapping with, uh, I don't know if Stanley's still in at this point. I think that's uh, uh, Brown. Yeah, that's Brown. See, the guy kind of stops. So he's in no man's land. So technically, He could have did either one. He could he could he could have gave this ball to because right now if Dobbins has this ball he out the gate. He could have did either one. But when he stopped he he let Lamar kind of do what he want. He should either came on attack Lamar or went out there. But when you get there and stop you get a quarterback the option to do what he want. With that being said, fourth down Lamar probably gonna keep it if he has the opportunity because the blocking is great. Look at Van Der Esch. This is what I want y'all to do. Watch this dude right here. Just watch him the entire play. 
Reading his keys, he see a guy pulling, but then he also comes off his key and see Dobbins going that way. He gonna take off and go chase Dobbins. Lamar's right behind him. Young linebackers, trust your reads. Stop chasing the ball. Trust your, well, what you think is the ball. Trust your reads. Play four. This is versus New England. Fourth and one. Uh, we're down 10 in the third quarter. Early in the third quarter. Let's see what we get. Mm. Got a fumble. Mark Ingram. This is the fumble we talked about. So you got Lamar out here. Ingram at quarterback with Ricard, tight end, and the rest of your O-line. I think the tight end's over here too. Direct snap to Ingram. He don't catch it. And so this is one of them plays where everybody's like, oh, God. What is he doing? And, for, and you know, everybody got in an uproar about the situation. Well, let me show you why we ran this play. In case you forgot. In case you forgot. Fourth and one. Ball in the 30. We're up 23 to 13 on the Texans in the fourth quarter. This is why we ran that play versus New England. And keep in mind, this play was early in the season. Same, almost the same formation. Only difference is everybody compressed. You got two, you got a lineman and a tight end. But pretty much the same formation. This is Lamar out here. Same play. He just mishap, mishandled the snap. It's the same play. And as a coach, you, you know, you go to your fourth down calls, and especially if you had success like this early in the year, why wouldn't you run it again? How do you know he gonna drop that ball? You don't. You go. You take. You take prior results and formulate your game plan. So this is a good fourth down call. The I mean, the one versus New England was a good fourth down call based off what happened early in the season. And I granted, and granted, there are different defenders for Texans, the Texans, than there are the Patriots. It's still it's a it's a good call. He just dropped the ball. It's a good call. So. It's going to play six, which will be the last one we talk about today. Uh, it is fourth and nine, second quarter, 309 left. We're beating Washington 14 to 7. I think this, this is my favorite fourth down call. My favorite one. Probably the best route Miles Borg and the Rams that I've seen. The probably the best route that like in that I've really paid attention to Borgen, the best route he can run. Let's let's look at Borgen down at the bottom. Borgen's a gunner. Give an outside release so the, the gunner has to turn and run with him, just like you running down trying to go get the punt. Throw by. The guy has to keep going, ball on time. This is my favorite fourth down conversion of the whole year. To just, I just like this. I don't know. But anyway, that's, uh, you know, some of the plays from fourth down this year. Uh, we can't be explosive on fourth down because we are a running team. And when people crowd the box, if you miss on that first level, it's, it's a house call. Kind of like what happened on Ingram's play and what happened on Lamar's play. But you can also run into run blitzes. And I didn't give you all the negatives. Like, if you look at Huntley's fails, Huntley was in bad situations. He all his fails were in bad situations. We had one. Um, I think we had a fourth down with uh, McSorley, but McSorley was able to run and get the first down. I think he ran QB outside zone. He was able to get the, four, the first down on that. But uh, the fails weren't bad fails. Like I said, Lamar failed four times. One of them was a, a, a fourth down pass to Borkin. He just threw a fade and. I don't really know what was the issue with them two at the time. But um, for the most part, his analytical decision-making was on point. 57% is not bad. It's not bad. The thing is, it's just if you have those fails late in the game, that's when it shows up more than normal. 
But um, this is, you know, the video for today. Today is Wednesday, July 7th at uh, 1.23. So um, whenever you see it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. This is Coach Evans from Sip the Tyler Films. I'm out. Peace. We'll